So uh, we have kind of a, a big group of people who are going to be speaking to us today. So uh, who we have, we have uh, Linda Bunting and Laura uh, Rigas. They are part of the Older Adults Falls Prevention Task Group with New Lenox Safe Communities and the master trainers of Matter of Balance program in town. They will be talking about the upcoming classes for MOB, Fit and Strong, and Tuesday Thursday Seniors with Soul Walking Group. Um, and then with us today, we also have Man Manhattan Park District, Manhattan Library, New Lenox Park District, Amy Maher, New Lenox Library, Dominic Rico Benny, uh, and we have Wayne Jupiter who will be discussing Tai Chi. So thank you again for being here. Thank you. <laughs> I do see some familiar faces in the in the crowd, so some of you may have been to uh, some of our one or more of our classes. Okay, my name is Laura Regis. I'm a master trainer for um, Matter of Balance, and this is uh, my co-master trainer, Alinda Bunting. So we have some information for you from the New Lenox Safe Communities. You may have picked one of these up um, when you came in, but we have prettier ones. <laughs> okay. So um, we are promoting the um, Safe Communities Severe Weather Spotter Trainer. If any of you have ever wanted to be one of those uh, tornado chasers, if you will, <laughs> or, or just need to um, just need to know weather conditions and changes um, for your own safety, how to take cover, uh, things like that. It's really good for like scouts, uh, groups of youth, um, and for older adults who are home looking out their window and saying, why didn't I pay more attention? Okay, so this is a, um, an annual event, and this one takes place on uh, April 3rd at Lincoln Way West High School. They have about uh, 50 vendors there for health and safety. Um, so it's really, you know, bring a bag or pick up a bag there. Um, you'll really get a lot of good information there. Um, it is five to seven. Uh, it's the Health and Safety Expo. Um, there's a touch a truck with the uh, Will County emergency vehicles that are it's really impressive if you've not seen them. Um, and then they have the severe weather spotter training from 7 to 8.30 where they have a professional speaker in the auditorium and it's uh, really worth your time. So I'm going to pass these out or start them, start, start them out. You could take this and pass back. Okay, the second thing I'm going to talk about is our Matter of Balance program. Uh, we have graduated over 600 seniors since we began about 10 years ago. It's a, it's a great program uh, for people who are aging and um, unsure of your balance. Uh, maybe you're afraid to go out into crowd, crowded areas and you need some helpful tips. It's a class designed to improve your balance and decrease your risk of falling. We have a class now that is coming up April 1st. So these are all right around the corner. Um, if you're interested, um, please register by calling Dan Martin. The uh, information is here. This class meets four times, uh, four, I'm sorry, four weeks, twice a week from 9.30 to 11.30. And this class will be held at the New Lenox Village Hall. Okay, so again, we'll start these handouts. Any questions regarding these programs? Which door is, do you go into the ladder of balance? Is it the one facing 30 or the one facing? The one off the commons that you walk oh. around down below. Okay. I mean, you can take the stairs. It's in the community room down. on the main floor. Okay. Linda, okay. So this summer and 
as we have the past several, we're going to do a program called Fit and Strong. Both of these matter of balance and Fit and Strong are evidence-based programs. Um, matter of balance is from Maine Health, and that's been going on forever. Fit and Strong is from the University of Chicago at Illinois, um, and we've been doing it for several years. It's an eight-week program. It's a big commitment, three days a week, three mornings a week, from 9.30 to 11. And this is held at the Spencer campus. This begins on June 3rd and ends the end of July. And it um, starts off with some stretching, and then we walk and the walking increases. It starts at a small increment of time and then we work up to 25 minutes to a half an hour. Then after the walking, we do five minutes of low impact aerobics. And then we do what is the big thing. This is really great for people 50 and over with osteoarthritis, especially of the knees, but it helps if you have hip problems or back problems because it loosens you up. But we use ankle weights. And there are little tiny hot dogs that are half a pound each, and you put in, we usually start everybody with two pounds, and then you work up as you can go. And then there's six exercises that we do faithfully, and again, we increase the repetitions of them and we'll do all one leg and then we switch it and do the other leg and it increases as we go on after the exercises with the weights then we do more stretching and then we have about a 20 minute lecture discussion afterwards about different um, aspects of physicality and how osteoarthritis reacts to um, helping you move. If you move more, your aches and pains will be less. Um, and then at the same, during that same time frame, from the beginning of June till the end of the July, this is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, on Tuesday and Thursday, we have Seniors with Soul. And that meets at New Lenox Commons, and it's a walking program. And it's an hour, it's 9 to 10. And they you start out, you do some stretches in the for five or ten minutes, and then walk leisurely on your own. Nobody's there going, come on, step it up, move it. You walk at your pace. Usually people find a partner, and you walk, and then you kind of, it becomes a real social thing. People develop friendships from it, and a lot, a lot of people will continue walking as long as the weather holds out afterwards. But these programs are all offered with no cost, and it's not just residents only. But um, Seniors with Soul, I don't believe, has a limit to how many people can participate. But Matter of Balance, we try to keep between 12 and 15 people, and Fit and Strong, 25. So if you know you want to do this, you need to contact Dan Martin sooner rather than later to get your name on the list. Any questions about these? Do you have any handouts for that? We don't have any handouts for this. We just determined the dates last week. So those will be forthcoming. Any questions, just go on New Lenox website and go on the Safe Communities portion and they'll have it. Or call the Village Hall and they'll be able to direct you. I've noticed in the last few years it fills up so fast and by the time I ever hear anything, it's, you know, they said it's, it's taken up. So, Go ahead and what email Dan Martin now? I would email say, Dan Martin now and say, say you'd I'm like to be included in the class if you know you really do want to. Uh -huh. So yeah. we are taking registration right now for Matter of Balance. Fit and Strong is uh, a little bit off, but go ahead and get your name on the list mm -hmm. if you want to participate. Just, Just make sure you specify Fit and Strong if that's yeah. what uh -huh. you want. Uh -huh. Or he'll put you on the matter balance list. <laughs> it's a good class. I mean, they're both good classes. If you can recommend anyone, even for the matter balance class, it's well worth it. There we go. We got some graduates here. Enjoy. Yeah. 
I can I just say I, sure. I went. I had just retired, and I went, and there were mainly older people. I said, oh, I don't fit in here. And, but after two or three sessions, it was great. It was okay. I mean, yeah. You, and, you find and, uh, what you need out of the class. You and know, I so shared that yeah. info with a sister who's up in Waukegan, and she can't find anything, or or somebody else said they had to pay eighty five dollars. Right. So, Exactly. They do offer the class for a fee. It was, it was really good. Yeah. Now, if you do find a um, matter of balance class in, like, north of here, I know Palos offers it um, for about $85 for a class. So it's a valuable information. Um, and it, have you fallen since the class? Oh, yeah. I mean, they were. <laughs> <laughs> but I've taken, you know, Different people share different little ideas of things yeah. they have, and I've taken them. And, yeah. Okay, we learn from each other in that class. So, I and this is all to, to pre prevent falls. So our fall statistic for the fire department and hospital emergency room and whatever, we want those statistics to go down. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Yep. When does the uh, Fit and Strong start? June third. June third. Okay. But don't Monday, wait till June second to call. <laughs> Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everybody. Uh, I'm Evan Vote. I'm with the Manhattan uh, Park District. And I've got a couple of super exciting things that we're going to talk about that the Manhattan Park District is doing this summer. I'm also going to really quickly run through some of our special events that we got going on, which I think are going to be very exciting. I did leave a number of things in the back as far as our offerings. Um, if you are looking for all of our programs, they all are online. It's like the best repository because anything that we need to update or need to change is going to be on there. Our fitness classes, we're offering kind of a whole slew of yoga, including gentle yoga. We're going to be doing that one is going to be on Saturdays. We're starting it in April and then it rolls into a second session that's going to be happening in June. If it's really nice outside for that gentle yoga in June, we'll move the whole thing outdoors because it's in the morning. It'll be a really nice time. <laughs> we do have two demo dates if you're not interested in taking the whole class, and they are for free. So our first free demo date is April 6th, and then our second free demo date is June 8th. So those are free. You do have to register prior to. Uh, you can give us a call, and we'll get you registered on then. Uh, but those are our two free demo ones for our, our gentle yoga, and that's with one of our new yoga instructors, Marcella. She's very nice to work with. We do have other yoga classes that are a bit more advanced. If that's something that you're looking for, those are in the evenings, and then we have our regular slew of adult fitness with bars and Pilates and all sorts of stuff. Um, I have a number of programs that I'm doing as far as general stuff or crafting stuff on april 5th we have a spring moon wreath crafting class that's being run with one of our supervisors she did one way back in winter and is doing number one in spring it's really fun she puts together these super cool wreaths she'll provide all the program all the the little necessities and then help you guide you along in making that little wreath for you we starting in june have one of my favorite programs called puzzle mania I know that some other districts in the area do that one. That one's super fun. It's you and a team of three people, so you would sign up with three of your friends. Um, we give you a 500 piece puzzle and then it is a race amongst the teams to see who can win. If you do win, you do get a medal. If you check out the little thing in the back, our last winning team is right up here. They put it together surprisingly quickly and each one of them got a medal. That was super fun. Is it one day? So I do four of them, or I'm doing three of them. No, I mean, you do one puzzle in one day? One puzzle in one day. It's you and three people, so it's four people total. That one is about $30, because I provide little finger foods, and I'm providing the, uh, or we're also giving you, you get to take home the puzzle and the, everything else that's associated with it. Um, I also have a painting class that's kind of an easy introduction into painting that's happening in May. Um, that's on May 23rd. It's called Painting with Tracy. That one's also pretty fun. So those are our real easy 
introductions into our general programs and some of our senior stuff that we're doing and our adult stuff. Then on the back here, if you go online, we have our full event schedule. The one that I'm really excited about is our SIPA summer schedule. Our SIPA summer is our concert series. They are June 19th, July 10th, uh, July 31st, and August 14th. Our big theme this year, as I've seen, is classic rock which is very exciting. We have a band from last summer that was one of our most popular um, that's coming back again this year that's called Strung Out. They were, I think, the third one, if you came to any of ours last year. They were very good. Um, and then we have a couple that we've brought back from last year and that we brought back from years prior. Our last one of the summer on August 14th is a band that we had two years ago which is like a rock and roll Creo Cajun band out of Joliet called Big Lanyap. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, very exciting, lots of fun things. All our uh, event information is online. Since I've moved real quickly, does anybody have any questions? Awesome, rock and roll, thanks everybody. Again, info in the back. Hi, I'm Amy Maher. I'm with the New Lenox Community Park District, and I'm going to highlight some of our programs. We're kind of at the in-between stage right now where we're ending our winter-spring book. Our summer book will be out at the end of April. It'll be on the website, and we will also mail an active adult um, guide out if you are on our mailing list. Um, so you can talk to me before I leave, and I can make sure you are included. Um, and we also have our app that you can download, and you'll get all the updates of the programs coming out. But just to highlight some of the free programs that we have, we have our coloring club on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. We have our senior jam session the first Tuesday of the month at 2.30. You can come play an instrument, come dance. It's super fun to watch, and I love the way they all interact. Um, our new program we have coming out in summer is our left center right club, so it's a dice game. Um, so it seems pretty cool. And then we also have two active adult classes. We have a co-ed, and we also have a women's only active adult class. So those will be on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 10 a.m. Um, and our newly renovated disc golf course is now going to offer a golden disc golf session on select Tuesdays this summer at 10 a.m. So come out and see the renovation. It looks really great out there. Um, we also have a few seminars going on. We have Understanding Social Security. We have a balanced basics and fall prevention. This is just a one day class, so it's not as good as MLB class, but if you can't get in that one, you can come check out ours just to give you a start. Um, we have a supplements with food and teas to improve our health. And then our quilting club also meets on select Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, bus trips, so if you're looking for some fun outings this summer, we have um, lunch in Guys and Dolls at Drury Lane on June 6th. We have the mascot the Mascot Hall of Fame and the Hard Rock Casino on June 26th. We have Churches and Chocolates July 17th. A trip to downtown Naperville shopping at the Riverwalk on August 7th. Our Tall Ship Windy Architecture Skyline Sale at Navy Pier on August 22nd. And our Long Grove Apple Fest on September 20th. So we have a lot of fun places that we're gonna be going. Um, if you're looking for golf and fitness programs, we have our adult golf classes going on at the Sanctuary. Registration opened March 1st, so if you're interested in that, sign on up. Um, we also have our new heated driving range open with the Top Tracer technology, so if golf is something you enjoy. It's definitely something to check out. Um, you can kind of play little games without going out on the course. Um, my kids really liked it. Um, in the back, I also put our open gym schedule at Lincoln Way. Um, we have basketball and pickleball, and also the hours that the track is open for walking. Um, we're going to have half the yoga in the evenings, and our fitness court um, is ready. If you're going to be doing Seniors with Soul, I usually come out the first week and kind of teach you how to use the equipment and give you a handout so you're comfortable using it, so it's a good opportunity to add some strength with your walking um, and that program. And then we're also going to have an outdoor yoga in the park at Haynes on select Saturdays. Um, some of our special events that we have coming up are Bark in the Park, our dog events. That's going to be May 19th, um, free events. 
we have our grandparent and me fishing day on Monday, July 24th. And then we're also doing an ice cream social at Firefighters Park in August. So all of that information will be out in our summer guide, which will be out again at the end of the month. I do have some flyers in the back for the programs that are still going on um, before summer stuff starts. So if you have any questions, just let me know. So, hi everybody. Uh, my name is Dominic Capenni. I am with the New Lenox Library. I am the outreach librarian there. And uh, today I'm going to talk about our spring programming that's going on for the next few months. Um, so, I'm going to start off with what's going on for the rest of March. So, for all of March, we are having our little seed library where you can come and take seeds to plant. Um, we have all different types. We have flowers, vegetables, fruits. So it's completely free. You could take as much as you would like. Um, but we will be stopping the program at March 30th. Um, so um, I'm sure all of you have heard about the solar eclipse coming up. Um, it, I believe it is April 8th. Um, starting March 25th, we are going to be handing out solar eclipse glasses, first come, first serve. So if you want to uh, observe the eclipse safely, you can get a free pair at the New Lenox Library. Um, and now in April, um, we are partnering up with JJC and the Will County Workforce, and we're having a Microsoft Word class. Um, we're going to have three sessions. Um, so the first is a introductory course to Microsoft Word, and we're going to have that one twice. We're going to have it on April 1st and April 15th. Um, they're both Mondays. And then on April 30th, we're going to have a more advanced version where it's going to be more tips and tricks that are a bit more difficult for Microsoft Word. And that's going to be on Monday, April 30th. So we'll have the class one on April 1st and 15th, and then we'll have class two on April 30th. And then um, we are going to have um, an event called The Beatles After the Breakup on April 9th. Um, we're gonna have a music historian. Um, he goes by Professor Moptop. Uh, he comes in and he's gonna talk about all the Beatles after the band broke up and their solo acts and um, what they've done after the band. And then um, on April 23rd, we're gonna have our Sugar Rush Tournament of Games all about candy. Um, we're gonna have things like blindfold jelly bean tests, gumdrop construction contests, as well as other candy related games. Um, and now in May, um, some things I'd like to highlight for May is we are having our next senior coffee break. Um, it's a, it's a uh, break where we ha offer free coffee, we have a speaker come in, and then also there's time to socialize and talk with the others amongst you. Um, this month's um, senior coffee focuses on DIY bug repellent lights. Um, so you could come in and build one, or you could just come in for the coffee and socialization too. You don't have to do what the speaker does. And then um, lastly, we're having a card making and paper craft um, event on May 14th. Um, we're having creative memories uh, come in and they're going to have an easy to follow method for creating decorative greeting cards. Um, so all of these events um, do not require a library card to attend. Um, and if you want more information about it, um, I have the guide. Um, this is what it looks like there. It's on the back table back there. Um, and it has all the times and also more events that I didn't cover that are in here. And just some more things I wanted to talk about. Our friends of the library, um, so our volunteer group that helps out the library, is looking for new members. So if you want to join, if you're looking for some volunteer opportunities, I'll add there's some pamphlets back there as well. And um, I also added our schedule of book clubs. Um, we have our fiction book club, mystery book club, and then we have our new book club. It's called BYOB, Bring Your Own Book Book Club. So, yeah. So, um, the way it goes is rather than have you be assigned a book, we kind of have a, uh, a 
big group where we each talk about books that we recently read that we really enjoyed. So there's no pressure to read a book on time or if you just want to hear some new ideas, it's a great club. Um, and then someone um, at the back table wanted me to bring up that we have museum passes as well. Um, that one you do need a library card for, um, but if you are interested in the museum adventure pass, um, we have that available and just uh, give us a call or check our website for availability. So um, does anyone have any questions about anything I mentioned? Okay. All right. Well, thank you for having me and uh, definitely check out the back table. I brought some goodies too. So thank you. Yes. Thank you. I do have some information. But I don't know if I have enough for everybody here. We normally don't have this huge of an audience. So uh, I'll try to uh, give you as much information as I can. My name is Wayne Jupiter. I'm your local Tai Chi instructor, okay? I started practicing about 25 years ago. Started teaching in the Joliet area about 15 years ago. These classes are sponsored by the Senior Services of Will County in Joliet. They're all part of a fall prevention class. The two local, uh, local classes, Joliet and New Lenox, are the closest for you guys. Uh, in Joliet, on Tuesdays, we have a beginning class at 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, and the advanced class is at 11.15 to 12.15. This is in the morning, Tuesdays. Tuesday afternoon, we come to the New Lenox. The Joliet is at the Senior Services on Center Street. Oh, okay. The New Lenox class is on Cedar Road at the Senior Housing. If you're taking uh, Laraway Road to Cedar, and then just across the railroad tracks on the east side of the road is uh, the Senior Housing out there because there's one across the street on the west side. That class in the afternoon on Tuesdays is uh, 2.30 to 3.30 is the beginning class. It's the earlier class, 1.30 to 2.30 is the beginning class. Okay, so those are all beginning classes in Joliet and, uh, and New Lenox. New Lenox class, Tuesday afternoons, Joliet, Tuesday morning. Uh, we do have the senior services just opened up a center called the Ovation Center, and that's on Weber Road in Romeoville. Now, that's a little ways to go, but it's a beautiful place, lots of room out there if you wanted to check those out. All my classes are 12 weeks. We take a one-week break, and then we start another 12-week class. So it's a quarterly session. So January and February and March are ending up here at the end of this month, and we're going to be starting a new session, 12-week session. Uh, April 2nd is the Tuesday, first Tuesday in April. We'll be starting uh, morning in Joliet's afternoon in uh, New Lenox. Uh, anybody interested in checking out a class? You don't have to log in right away. You can just check it out, sit in on a class if you like it. Then you can uh, get the membership through the senior services. Excuse me. Did you used to teach in Wilmington? Uh, I still do. Okay. I, still do. Okay. I we, went to your class many years ago in Wilmington. Okay. The uh, Wilmington class is an independent class. It doesn't go through the senior services. Uh, we've been doing that. Uh, I think that was one of the first classes we had out was there. It it's okay? been about 15 years it's for that. Pretty interesting. Yeah, still uh, still going out there um, at the Lions Club in uh, in Wilmington, and that one's on Fridays at 9:30 to 10:30. During the summer, we go out to the South Island Park, and it's really beautiful out there. You get to watch the eagles while you're doing your, your Tai Chi, so it's, uh, it's really nice out there. Um, I, I also teach at the Carillon Lakes, which is a closed community, and uh, we have a six-week class in Frankfurt Park District at the <coughs> Founders Center. That is an evening class, and that's 6.30 to 7.30, but it's only six weeks. They've got so many classes and things going on out there, we couldn't get a 12-week class. So it's a uh, really fast-paced class out there. So if you uh, want to take your time learning Tai Chi, you might stick with a 12-week class. A little bit easier out there. Uh, the fees have changed somewhat, the membership fees for the um, Senior Services Center. It used to be you paid a small, month, uh, small yearly fee and, and then an individual fee for each class. 
And this year, 2024, they've changed it, so they've uh, increased their membership fee. But the classes, all classes, each and every class, are come under the membership free. They're free. It comes under the membership. So you can take like Tai Chi and yoga and line dancing, and it's all under the membership fee. You can pay your membership fee monthly or yearly, okay? The monthly fee is $13 a month. The yearly fee is $130. And so you're saving $25 if you pay by the year. Um, apply for Joliet too? Uh, Jolly, uh, Joliet and uh, New Lenox. Yeah, okay. both of those classes. Uh, other than that, that's all about the Senior Services Center and the classes. Now, why take Tai Chi? Okay, why would you want to take Tai Chi? We've been hearing discussions now on falling. All right, Tai Chi is really great for fall prevention. It works on the leg muscles, basically. Now, what usually happens as we get older, we lose muscle mass, starts to deteriorate, and you want to exercise, any kind of exercise to build up your leg muscles. Very important. This reminds me of a commercial on TV I've been seeing lately. They come up with a screenshot of a room that has weights and exercise equipment, and then there's a caption that comes across the screen. Let me read it so I don't get it wrong. The caption usually says 50% of empty nesters turn their kids' room into an exercise room. Then the next caption that comes across says 84% of those keep promising to use the room next Monday. <laughs> now, I don't know about those percentages. i kind of leery about that. But I think the idea is pretty correct. We put off exercising way too much. We need to get to exercising if you want to prevent falls. If you've had a fall, you know what I'm talking about. If you're lucky, you got some bruises and maybe a bump or two, but you could have come down with a concussion. You could have a fractured hip, a broken leg, or broken wrist, because when you fall, the first thing you want to do is try to prevent the fall with your hands and you wind up breaking your wrists. And uh, some of the, there it is, CDC says that of 200 people over 60 that have a fall, one quarter of those 50 are going to wind up in a hospital. 25 of those with hip fractures. Two of them are going to die. So you don't want to fall. You try to avoid that. Now, you can use different kind of exercises. You can go to the fitness club, weights, machines. You can do uh, strenuous exercises. And that certainly will help. It'll build up the muscles uh, really fairly quickly. But you're usually sore and aching the next day. Now, Tai Chi is not strenuous. It's very gentle. The whole idea, Tai Chi is a form of exercise, but it's the exercise of a form, mainly postures. Okay, You go through the postures. The idea is to flow through smoothly through each posture. And you're trying to concentrate on your center of gravity as you move from one foot to the other foot, being aware of your balance as you're moving. <laughs> now, what usually happens is you have 100% of the weight on one foot. So all of the weight is there on that one foot, and you're building up muscles. Slowly but surely, you're building them up. And then you transfer the weight over to the other foot as you're doing these postures. The idea is to move as smoothly as you can. It's very relaxing. It's not strenuous at all. In fact, one of the benefits, another benefits of Tai Chi is stress reduction. You can see that blood pressure come down a little bit. So fall prevention, stress reduction. Um, part of the flyers that I have over there that I created from the website is there's two charts. And I apologize for the small print, okay, because I'm printing from the website. But the two charts are one on the benefits of Tai Chi, for instance, um, mindfulness, imagery, structural alignment, strength and balance, natural breathing, social support. And then it gives a description of that. The other chart, <clears throat> this is really interesting because they did research on a summary of the evidence from 120 different studies on Tai Chi on how it benefits you. 
And the chart has five columns, first column being, it's saying, excellent evidence of benefits, okay? The next column, good evidence of benefits, and it lists the medical conditions that Tai Chi can help with. For instance, excellent evidence of benefit has preventing falls, osteoarthritis, Parkinson's disease, improving cognitive capacity, okay? And it goes down. The next column would be good evidence of benefit for these medical conditions, all the way down to the last column. And this is what's nice about the chart because they're very honest about it. The last column is evidence of no direct benefits for these medical conditions. So they're being honest and telling you, for instance, diabetes. Tai Chi apparently has no direct benefit of diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis because that's an immune problem. So the charts are really good. The flyers I put on the front uh, table over there. Now, muscle mass deterioration, Tai Chi builds that up nice and slow, so a definite benefit. Tai Chi is different than other forms of benefits because of the way it moves. The idea is it's stress reduction as you're moving, nice and slow, taking your time to go through there. So Tai Chi is, is choreographed. It's like dancing, okay? The problem is, is you have to practice. I tell my students, okay, and I see a few laughs out there. I always tell my students, you're gonna hear me say, practice, 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 at least a dozen times, probably a hundred times before the 12 weeks are over. Because if you come to class just once a week and you don't practice in between, you're gonna fall behind and you're gonna get kind of frustrated and you're gonna drop out. So you have to practice. The more you practice, the easier it gets. There's two things going on. You're trying to learn the postures as you're going through them. So you're paying attention to which way the hands are moving. Are they moving up or down? Are they this direction, that direction? And you're not concentrating on your balance. Tai Chi has a very distinct way of walking. In your normal walking pattern, as you're moving forward, you're stepping and moving your weight forward at the same time. So as I step, I move forward. In Tai Chi, we call this control falling, okay? Because I'm falling, catching myself. Falling, catching myself. The way we walk in Tai Chi is you step out, but the weight stays on the back foot. So I'm relaxing my weight down, stepping out, the foot's flat on the ground, but I haven't moved yet. My weight is still back here. I'm feeling my balance here, and then I'm slowly pushing forward and moving into that front foot. That's the way we walk in Tai Chi. So it, if you're concentrating on the hand postures, you're not thinking about the balance and the, the stepping and then shifting. So it takes a little bit to get through that. But the, the benefits from it are really amazing. Like I say, it's very relaxing. Tai Chi has been called meditation in motion because you're meditating as you're moving through each of the postures. Okay. Now, among the flyers, I've got a booklet out there that has the website printed on the front of it. So you can go to the website and get all this information. It's got the location of all the, the classes that we have, of all the time schedules, the quarterly time schedules, and there's three quarters up there. So they're advanced classes coming up you can uh, you can find lots of good information for that if you don't practice the question is is how badly how much do you want to prevent fall prevention how much do you want to bring down your blood pressure how much do you want to increase your leg strength that's the important parts that's what Tai Chi can do for you. But you have to practice it, and you have to come to class, and that's the way you learn. It's slow, sure, but steady. And it's, um, if you talk to any of my students that have been there for a while, uh, my oldest class is 15 years, advanced class have been out there doing it for quite a while, they can tell you how much benefit they get from it. So it does make a difference. Okay, any questions about any of this? Okay. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you. And the
flyers are right here at the beginning of the table. Where's the one where it says where the, all the different classes? That would be on the website. Oh, it's okay. on the website. And the website, here's the uh, address of the website. The booklet has a bunch of articles in there about the benefits of Tai Chi. The very back of the booklet has a list of all the postures in it in Tai Chi. And uh, it, it looks really complex, but a lot of the postures are duplicated. So it says 67 postures, but there's not that many because a lot of it's duplicated. In back of that sheet that lists, there's a, a definition of the six basic postures that we learned for beginners and how to do them. It's all written out. So you can get started on it in your practice. Okay? All right, thank you. Thank you. Well, I hate to say it, but I'm one of those statistics. Uh, I moved out, and my parents immediately turned my bedroom into a gym that they very rarely use. Uh, so you, you speak the truth. My friend wants it, sorry. Uh, my name is Michelle Newcomb. I am uh, from the Manhattan Elwood Public Library. I gave all of you fine folks my flyer and then neglected to bring one up for myself. Um, I just want to share with you a handful of things that we have going on. I, I, what I'm hearing is we have a lot of things in common going around through our libraries and art districts. Like, we're doing puzzles too. Puzzles are awesome. I'm a puzzler. Um, we also have a lot of what we want to do in our library is just create a sit base where people feel comfortable to spend a little bit of time, meet a few new people, not spend a lot of money or any money at all. And so we have quite a few things that we invite you to come and visit us. If you're not from Manhattan, we're just a tiny little town and uh, we are always happy to see new faces. So um, we're, we just started trivia time uh, yesterday. We had our very first trivia time. Um, we uh, have bingo every single month. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We theme it. Uh, my colleague Barb takes a lot of pride in her bingo uh, and it fills up very fast. So I highly recommend checking that out. We have puzzles. We also have a gardening club. So if you um, have a lot of cuttings you want to share, if you have, you know, if you're like me and you've got that one hosta that you've got to split five ways every year and you want to share it, that's a great place to do it. And we also do some gardening related crafts and we're trying to um, do some new things for our upcoming uh, branch opening in Elwood as well. Um, and we have a handwriting analysis uh, class coming up at the end of April. Um, and we have lots and lots of crafts as well. Again, we're very low key, come on in, chit chat. If you are like me and you're not a great crafter, my brain will come up with a great idea and um, it's like that show um, with the cakes. What is that called? Cake Boss? Pardon? Cake Boss? No. Oh, I wish I looked like Cake Boss. <laughs> uh, uh, regardless, it never looks right. I'm a Pinterest fail waiting to happen. Um, that's that's this level of crafting. We want something that you can go home and be proud of, even if you're like me and your hands don't like to do what your brain does. Um, we also have some sewing and crocheting classes coming up. We have our guest host, Rachel Bargo, coming and visiting us again. She's been with us several times over the last year, and she's wonderful. And again, all those classes are free. We also have a couple's paint night. So for those of you who you're empty nesters now and you want to do something other than stare at each other across the dinner table, come to our library and paint. Again, it's free. Um, and then I also have a whole bunch of book clubs. So whether you are a suspense and thriller type or you're a cozy mystery type who like to read your mysteries with cats and your tea, or if you um, enjoy cooking, um, we've got a club for you. Our cookbook club is actually really awesome. We get a new cookbook every month and you get to choose a recipe from it, make something out of the book to share. You come and you chit chat, um, make new friends, and get to try new dishes. Um, this upcoming month, I believe, is Trisha Yearwood's new cookbook, so if that interests anybody. Um, and we also have lots of things going on with our friends. But it is a busy time to be a senior. There's lots of cool things out there. The one thing that I will say um, is, regardless of what township you live in, check out your library because they have so many programs and services they want to hear from you they want to know what um, what you need so that we can provide it for you so never hesitate to pick up a phone or step into your library maybe you got that kindle for christmas from a well-meaning relative and you have no clue how to use it um, there's somebody at your library who does and we will happily sit down with you many many times 
Um, I have a regular. I love her. I see her every two or three weeks. And that's great. I'm happy to do that. There's people there who care and want to see you out and about in the community. Um, so please don't hesitate to come visit us in Manhattan, whether it's with me or whether it's with my friend Evan um, or whether it's Dominic in his library. Just use the library. That's really, that's really the other thing. Um, but everybody should have one of these. If you don't, just let me know. I have more. I also have my card. So if you do have a tech question or you have an idea you want to share, please don't hesitate to reach out. I appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you very you. much. For Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So that concludes everyone today. Just want to see, say thank you for everyone for coming out today. Hopefully you learned a lot. And that I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. Thank you. Yeah, thank thank you. you for coming out. Thank you. Triad works to improve the quality of life for seniors by providing an opportunity for the exchange of information between public safety, social services, and seniors. There are no membership papers to fill out or fees to pay. Everyone is welcome to attend. Each month, we present a guest speaker on subjects that keep you informed and up-to-date on the latest scams, frauds, and other criminal activities. We also discuss safety issues, home preparedness, and staying healthy. Triad meets the fourth Thursday of every month. Contact the Newlax Police Department at 815-462-6100 for more information.